What's the best piece of advice ever given to you, Minister? It could be more than one, hmm. personal or professional. You know, I'll, uh, I'll give you a couple. Okay. Um, Bob Russell used to constantly say this. He'd say, keep the main thing the main thing. Mm -hmm. And that's always stuck with me. Uh, in, in my line of, of work, uh, communication gifts and being able to, when you stand in front of people, being able to preach because you have put the preparation in, that's the most important thing. I could wear so many different hats of leadership. I could sure. be involved in so many different things. But when Saturday night or Sunday morning rolls around, and I have thousands of people listening out there and, and tens of thousands on radio and Internet, well, it's my responsibility to be prepared not to waste their time. So I've got to keep the main thing, the main thing, mm -hmm. on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all week long, so okay. that when I do stand up there, I'm not wasting their time, and, and I've got a word from the Lord for them. So that'd be my first one, keep okay. the main thing, the main thing. Uh, and, and the second one, uh, I think, I don't know who to credit it with. I heard it at a leadership seminar about 10 years ago. It was only do what only you can do. Hmm. And the premise of that, that was that you can get wrapped up in, if you are in leadership, you can get wrapped up doing a lot of things that you think in your own mind you can do a little bit better than that person can. Mm -hmm. But if you can only move that up to doing it at a level of an eight and they're doing it at a six or a seven, well, it's probably not worth your time. You need to concentrate on those areas that only you can do it. You're the only one that can do that in the organization, okay. whether that's a church or a company or a community. Thank you.